Our neighbor Steve is an artist, a sculptor. We see his work every day. He made this classical looking sconce that hangs on his fence. And he made this reindeer out of heavy wire. When Steve asked if we'd like to come and see his latest project, a giant metal Easter Island head, we said, yeah. Sh his workshop is out in the country, way out in the country. His friend George owns the farm where he works, and it was George who commissioned the big head. Farm To see a giant metal Easter Island head made by Steve Piper. There it is. And the boys. Here we are going inside of the head. Hey Eli. What's it yeah. like in there? It's dark and echoey. Steve showed us how he began his project by making a small clay model of the Easter Island head. And then he made a model of the frame or armature out of heavy wire. You can see the resemblance here. Tall, and I just kind of worked backwards into it. So I made a three and a half foot uh, tall wire armature then to, you know, copy. And, and so this is just uh, a duplicate. The frame for the finished product was made of one half inch wire, which is. Here we are inside the shop where Steve's going to give us a demonstration of the roller <laughs> that he bought off of eBay. <laughs> Steve showed us a roller that helped him create the panels that he would weld to the frame. It's a neat little toy. I mean, it, it's real basic and simple, but without it, I couldn't have made some of that. So you use that to get the parts that are curved. Curved. Is that right? Yeah, more or less. Uh -huh. uh, this is 12 gauge steel. It's just a little bit under eighth inch, and it's really tough stuff. Steve welded these panels one by one onto the armature to make the head. Part of productive day, but this is the back. Some of the chin pieces, some of them maybe almost took a day to get on there because they're really frustrating. Bruce, you don't look inspired about <laughs> building sculpture. I think I'm going to stick to music. Go stand by that head, Robbie, so we can see how big it is. Yeah. It's 14 feet to the center. Don't let them bite you. <laughs> awesome. A yard of concrete is 3 feet by 3 feet by 3 feet. There's 11 yards of concrete. Before we left, we got to see where the head would eventually be yeah. placed. Right in the middle of this Iowa farm field. We all looked forward to seeing it there. There it is.